Right away, I noticed that most of my answer choices fit neatly into the 20 most common transition words that I have categorized into four main categories. So however, you probably know what that means. That's not an uncommon word, but it means but. Uh, moreover is basically a fancy way of saying and or also. So it doesn't really transition at all. It just kind of continues a thought. And for example is just the category itself. It's for example. Then is tricky because we think of the word then in terms of time, but it's, it's a little bit more flexible than that. So let's leave it out for now. I do think it fits in our categories, but it's not one that I have listed as like a very common member of those categories. So let's take a look at the sentences. In hindsight, given the ideas about the natural world circulating among British scientists in the 1800s, the theory of natural selection was an obvious next step. Okay, so something's obvious, strong words. It may not have been a coincidence that Charles Darwin and Alfred Wallace arrived at the concept independently. Indeed, contrary to the popular myth of the, long, the lone genius, theirs is not the first paradigm-shifting theory to have emerged from multiple scholars working in parallel. So I'm really just focused on those, those two sentences. So uh, it's an obvious next step, so it's not a coincidence that they both got there. Right, that's, that's kind of my dumb summary. I'm moving the blank to the beginning so I can kind of connect the sentences in a more intuitive way. So it's an obvious next step, but they it's not surprising that they got, it's, a, it's not a coincidence that they both figured it out. So that doesn't seem to make sense. It doesn't seem like a contrast, right? It's an obvious next step, but it's not a coincidence that they both figured it out. Well, if it's obvious, why would we be surprised that they both figured it out, right? It seems to kind of follow that like, okay, if it's obvious, then it, it is surprising or it's not surprising that they both figured out. It's not a coincidence. It's just, I, that's what would we would expect to happen. And you might notice I'm kind of, I'm, as I'm explaining this, I'm slipping into the answer here. I don't know if you noticed it, but so, but doesn't work. Now, and is not an, a, a transition word that we would kind of jump to uh, moreover because it doesn't really transition at all. So it doesn't really feel right or wrong. It's, it's usually the only reason we pick it is if everything else is wrong. So let's move away from that for a second. I'm skipping then because we don't know what it means supposedly. And is this an example? Well, uh, it's an obvious next step. For example, it may not be a coincidence that they both figured it out. It's not an example. Like them figuring it out is not an example of it being an obvious step. So that doesn't work. So really we have to figure out what does then mean? And you may have heard I used it. I used it basically because it means so. And it, 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 normally it, it does mean time stuff. So it can on these transition questions be much more about the time, right? First, I felt hungry, then I went and got food, right? Like that feels like a very natural way to use the word then. But if you think about it, even in that example, first I got hungry, so I went and got food, right? Even in the, the sense of time, then is kind of behaving as a cause and effect, right? First there's a cause, then there's an effect. And so it, it, it kind of hits on the border, right? It is a, a transition where we associate with time. I don't think that time is playing into this, but it, its behavior is very similar. It's, it's this cause and effect idea, right? It's obvious, natural selection is an obvious next step. So it's not a coincidence that two people happened to figure it out at kind of the same time. That's that's the point here, right? It's It follows from the fact that it's obvious that multiple people would have figured it out. So B is the answer. And again, I'm not really eliminating C, it's more just that I, it, the C is kind of a, moreover is, is an answer of last resort on these questions. We, we never really are, unless it's like a contrast and we know that that's not gonna work, uh, we, we are never really truly eliminating it because it doesn't really do anything. So we might pick it if we figured out that B is wrong. And I feel like if, if you got this question wrong, that's probably what you did. But um, just have to, you have to remember that the word then can behave as a so. Uh, it just depends. It depends on the context and, and it's not, they're not that different. It's not like it's two different meanings. It's that it's the, it is a cause and effect word, a so word, but it sometimes has this little extra something about time passing and events happening in sequence. Um, but there you go. This is to me a very common use of the word then. As I said, I was kind of slipping it in accidentally as I was trying to explain the relationship. So if you caught that, well, there you go. Anytime it feels natural to use a certain transition word, it's probably a good sign that it's the right answer.